talk to my family real quick. I uh, was just talking to my boy Hector real quick. I want to share this tip with y'all, make a public service announcement. You know, there's a big argument about standing straight up versus leaning slightly forward when you're doing press downs. Guys, it does not fucking matter. If you're doing damn near your body weight on press downs and you don't have the core of a fucking gymnast, you're not gonna be able to stand straight up. You will have to lean slightly forward to take some of that core pressure off. Now, some dumb motherfucker may tell you that leaning forward will engage the pecs, making the exercise easier. That is fucking false. The only way you can engage the pectorials is if you, if you recruit the delts. So yes, if you're pressing like this, you know, bringing in the delts, straightening the arm like that, yes, you will engage the pecs. But if you keep your delts in a pivoted position, a pivoted position, arms close to the lats, it doesn't matter if you're leaning in or not. Public service announcement. Now here we go, leaning hey. in for five reps. See my shoulders, it's pivoted. My shoulder did not move. Now I'm doing this, <laughs> yes, I'm engaging the pecs. But if I roll my shoulders back, keep them pivoted and locked, I'm all triceps, baby, all triceps. Or I can stand straight up. It don't matter, because I have a strong ass fucking core. And a strong core will keep a whore coming back for more. <laughs> you feel me? There you go. One more tip, I'm gonna see you choosing on your way. I like to do cable curls with my arms elevated. I don't like doing my cable curls from the ground because when shit gets heavy, when shit gets real, you tend to hinge. You'll hinge at the front delt, making the exercise easier. Obviously, if you got the shoulders helping you lift, the exercise become easier. But if you elevate the arms, now the shoulders cannot help you. They can't help you right here. So roll the shoulders back, keep the arms close to the lats, and curl. Now I am punishing. I am punishing the arms. Punishing the arms. So that's one of my secrets right there. You want to do cable curls? You really want to go strict and really make the biceps scream and beg for mercy? Try elevating your arms. Don't go from the ground because when shit gets hard, you by by it's it's human nature. You're gonna want to make the exercise easier. That's when you lift the elbows. That's when you lift the front delts. Try to make the shit easier. So that's what bodybuilding is all about. Bodybuilding is about making the exercise hard for the muscle to force growth. Bam. Can't be giving you all my motherfucking secrets, man. Damn. So we got my boys Hector and Thomas over here waiting for me. And we about to go to this spot called Tokyo Joe's. It's been a while since I've critiqued and reviewed a new restaurant for you guys. So I'm going to get back into that, man. Since I'm bulking and not really tracking macros, I have the freedom to kind of taste test some places for you that are bodybuilding friendly. And give you my honest opinion, man. Been hearing quite a bit about this place. When I went to Waba Grill in LA, people kept telling me to try Tokyo Joe's. We just opened this place not too long ago. Take a look. See, it says now open, which means they're now open. They're recently opened in this bit, so. All right, I wanna get one of those rows. Like I get the Arizona roll, pretty good. Eight piece, yeah. yeah, eight piece. And y'all have bowls, right? You gotta make your own bowl. Yeah. Now check this out, guys. You can build your own bowl. You pick your protein right here, right? And then you pick your carb source. You pick your sauces. They even have a sugar-free sauce. And then you pick your veggies. Pretty dope, man. But I don't got time for all that. I'm kind of hungry. I can't even think right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get. The Mojo Bowl. It's already made, ready to go. It looks, you know, the picture looks amazing, so I'm gonna go with that right here, guy. I'm gonna get an already made bowl. Uh, Do me a favor, let me uh, taste this real quick. Hold the camera. Don't, don't put your fingers here, because that's a uh, speaker. All right, homies and home mess, so let's give this sushi a try. What's Damn. the, which one is this? It's like Arizona roll. Arizona roll, man. It's got some heat. They got some jalapenos on there, man. I'm, I, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I hate spicy stuff, but I'm gonna eat it just to give it a try. Now, I was gonna dip it in soy sauce, but everything tastes good with soy sauce. We're gonna eat it straight by itself. Here we go. Is it GAF or no? I 
I ain't gonna lie, it is good. It's good. But you cannot throw that GEF. GEF, you gotta be a nine out of 10. We, we gonna keep it real. Do not throw that word GEF out. GEF has meaning, okay? It's a sacred word. It's not GEF, but it's good enough. Man, it looks good, but does it taste good? That's that's the ultimate question. Yes, thank you, man. All right, you have you, have you ever tried? All right, first and foremost, I got my homie Instagram on the screen. My boy Hector Instagram on the screen. Be sure to fuck with my family right here. Family right here. All right, gotta give it a picture, a picture taste test, Thomas and uh and Hector. T this is TJ Spot. He told me to come try it out. You can get whole ready here. You can both here. They got whole ready meals and lean meals. And we about to dig in and see if it's GAS. Let's find out. Is it GAF or not? Is it? Man, they got some egg in here. I love egg. Give it that uh, no, fried, gotta, that fried egg, rice. I got to get a good fork full. Make sure I get it off. Be honest, because if they go out to eat and order this, they, they going to get mad because I told them it was GAF. I'm going to give it. I, I don't think I can give it to GAF. Oh, uh, hey, you can't, you can't, man. Honest, we man. can't throw it. We cannot throw that label out no more. It, it gotta be earned. It's good, but you can't. Just, like, one to ten, it's good. One to ten. One to ten. One to ten. Seven. Uh, okay, that's not bad. It ain't bad. It ain't what bad. do you think? Cause keep in mind, everybody got different taste buds, we're trying, we're trying. and everybody got different standards. You don't get me wrong. I'm going back for seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. To be honest, one to ten. I'll give it a nine. You give it a nine? See, we have two different opinions. That's why we need more than one opinion. Pretty good to me. Seven right here. Now, what have you eaten here that's a nine? That second bite was better, by the way. But um, man, I like the sauce. The sauce changes. So, what what that's bowl nice. what bowl have you ordered here that gives you GAF? What I usually do is the double white chicken. The double white. The rice, the rice noodles. The okay. rice noodles are really good. Uh huh. Then you add uh, mixed veggies to it. I usually do the mushrooms here really good. Uh -huh. So you create, you make your own bowl. Yeah, I like to add shrimp too. Yeah. White chicken, have shrimp. And add that. Uh, what sauce you like? That sugar-free, spicy. Damn, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Stevie Yaki. Oh, okay. I made with stevia. Stevia. So yeah, like he likes to make his own bowl, guys. With that sugar-free stevia yaki, and he tells you it is GAF. Y'all be sure to give it a try. Let me give him my opinion. That's it. So here we go. We got a seven over here. We got a nine from Hector. Let's see what Poppy Jones thinks. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh. Mm, this looks good. Smell. Smell good. It reminds me of Wobble Grill so much. Yeah. With more variety. Think about it. Definitely good. Uh -huh. I can't give it GAF. I'm going to have to give it about an eight, which is damn good. Will I, will I come back? I will definitely be back. And I'm probably, I'm gonna order something else. So, be looking out for my next episode of Fat Jones. I'll probably come back here and create my own bowl with that stevia sauce in that bitch. Yeah. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed my video. We couldn't give you J up today. Hopefully next time, children. <laughs> Don't like my shit. Comment, comment, subscribe, and holla back at you.